to part two of episode oh, 77. A purview review. Survivor series. And this time's going to be timed out for sure. A whole lot better because we're, we're, yes. we're starting at the end of September here. Yes, and, we are. Uh, we are rolling in to the, I think it's the end of November, right near the Thanksgiving. Yeah. They used to be on Thanksgiving. And there's 27, I think, a Survivor Series, so we got to get the ball rolling. That's right. So this was Survivor Series 1987, with the tagline being the biggest event since WrestleMania 3, because it was too big for WrestleMania. It was. Yes, with the, the date of November 26th. And that was it. WrestleMania 3, Survivor Series, it for pay-per-views that year. Wasn't that nice? It was very weird. So it was November the 26th, 1987. I wish they would go back to four pay-per-views as it. Be strange. It'll be it'll be strange. I can't write that long. I can't space it out. We're going to give you pay per view shows on Raw and then we're going to give it to you the pay per views. Well, right. then you yeah. can do it then. We're going to get on a tangent again. But anyway, November the 26th. And then they're worried about money. Hey, well, if you've got four pay per views, you can either put them all on pay per view or you can put them on the network and you won't lose money. That's true. November the 26th, 1987, with attendance of 21,300 people at the Richfield Coliseum. Which I think it's torn down now. Oh, well, that's sad. Two years in a row, too. Gave it away. They love it. They do. Well, the attendance is really bad the second time. It Woo. is, isn't it? They needed to rethink their stuff there. The but, first... ladies and gentlemen, there's only four, four, four matches, but they were five on five. Five on five, so it gave it longer amounts of Except time. Except the tag was 20 men. But you still. had a longer amount of time, because this first match you had Randy Savage, a who's who already. The team of Randy Savage. Jake the Snake Roberts, Ricky the Dragon of Steamboat. Your boy, Bruce the Beefcake. And Jim Dick. Oh, look at this. Steamboat and Savage in the same match after WrestleMania 3. They fought each other at WrestleMania 3, and now they're in the same team. Oh, very, very, oh, very good. And they were with Miss Elizabeth, and they defeated the Honky Tonk Man. Oh, oh sugar. Hercules. Dangerous. Danny Davis, the referee. One, two, three, I count for the Harvard Nation. Exactly. Woo! Ron Bass. Out on Ron Bass with Miss Betsy. Oh, Lord. And Harley Race with Bobby Heenan and Jimmy Hart in a 5 on 5 Survivor Series elimination match that lasted 24 minutes. Out of the dot! Ding, When's the last time you saw a 24 minute opening match? It's been a long time, long but. Time. Uh, no, it just. Boy, it just pisses me off that they, that they, they, got can, away they from can do this today! They got so many people on the roster. I was looking at the roster and I actually did a fantasy Survivor Series because we talked about this. Yes. I'm, I have plenty more people left over. It's, I know. It's, it's so many people left over. Because uh, I did a pre-show match and five pay-per-view matches. So that's six all together and still have people left over in NXT and WWE. Next up was the women. The women had their women. own Survivor Series match. Five on five women. Five on five. Ten women. And we can do that with NXT, WWE, and... Oh, oh, of course, I've never heard of crazy. I've never heard of that one. Woo-hoo. Donna. Oh, Donna? Yeah, she's one of the... But it was a fabulous moolah, the team of the fabulous moolah, Rockin' Robin, Velvet McIntyre, and the Jumpin' Bomb Angels, who were the tag, women tag team champions at one time. Yeah, they had those before. They defeated Sensational Share, your girl, the Glamour Girls, who were against the Jumpin' Bomb, Jumpin Bomb Angels, Donna Cristinelli, and Dawn Marie. Not the one not from the one ECW. ECW with Jimmy Hart. She he, was very He even though. managed women. Jimmy and he was back to back man. He probably just stayed out there. Like, I'm gonna hang out. And this match lasted 20 minutes. A women's on match. The dot. A women's match lasted 20 minutes. They got to lay on the dot, ain't they? They are on the dot. They the, can't be right. Somebody didn't do the time right. Cause all of them were on the dot. They are on the dot. <laughs> That's some timing out there. If they time this out on the dot, well, none match? of the next the next year they're not on the okay. dot. So we're okay. So either, either the timing is off, or somebody's just like. Ding, go, you're Might done. Be really good at this. Yeah. Yes. The third match was Strike Force with Tito Santana and Rick Martel, the Young Stallions, Paul Roma and Jim Powers, the Fabulous Rougeurs, Jacques and Raymond, the Killer Bees, Jim Bronzel <laughs> and B. Brian Blair, the British Bulldog, David Boy Smith, and Dynamite Kid. And that was just, that was one side of the tag one teams. One side of the tag teams. One side. So what was that? Two, four, that's ten on one side, right? That's five teams. So, yes. yeah, ten people. Ten did. people on and one side. And they defeated... So far, it's all, is it all faces? Yeah, it's face on one side. No, but What's those that? were faces. The women were faces. Or was Moolah a heel? Moolah was a face. Faces. Because jump, Jumping Bomb Angels were faces. Faces, yes. Yeah, and Robin, 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 yeah. And yes. then a faces again here. 
Because the Killer Bees were always faced. They yes. were heels. And he was, they were, Youngstown was faced, Final Three never faced. Three Force. faces in a row here, so we're going to get to the next one. We'll find out about that one. They defeated the Hart Foundation. Hey, Bret right Hart and Jim... Yeah, I saw it on there. Anyway, <laughs> Bret and Jim Neinhart, the Islanders, Haku and Time. I love the Islanders, yes. Demolition, Axe and Smash. Here comes the Axe. Here comes the Smash. They're Demolition. They're a walking disaster. That's true. The pain Bull. and destruction is their middle name. Well, you know way too much. <laughs> the Bolsheviks, Nikolai Volkov and Boris Zukov. The dream team of Greg Valentine and Dino Bravo. With Jimmy Bat. Slip. Two managers. Jimmy Hart. Three managers. I mean, four managers. And Mr. Five Fugin. managers at ringside? And My head should explode. And they're all with the heels. And they're all with the heels. And there was five teams, so they must have all had managers. For the Bolsheviks team. had Slick. Jimmy the Hearts Hart was with the Dream Team. Uh, Hearts was with the Hart Foundation. Heenan had the Islanders. Mr. Fuji. Mr. Had Fuji had Demolition. And of course, Jimmy Valiant. And he said Jimmy Valiant with the Dream Team. Yes. Wow, that is pretty cool. And then what's uh, wrong with people today? You can't do this today. And that was 37 minutes on the dot, the longest match of the night, by the way. Because it was a lot of tag team. It was. But, and, but with that, yes. when one <laughs> one member of the tag team lost, they both, both left. Yes. When one pin got, exactly. got pinned, you both got to go. Which numbers it now? It does number it down pretty quick. And now the main event. The main event was the who's who. The big, huge guys. A five on five Survivor Series elimination match. And this was the only hills to win. You had Andre the Giant. The one man gang. Boo! That was scary. King Kong Bundy. The five count. Butch Reed. Natural. And Ravishing Rick Rude. With? With their managers Bobby Heenan and Slick. Defeating the team of Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan. Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. The Rock. Don Morocco. Magnificent. Also. Yes. Ken Patera and Bam Bam Bigelow with his manager, Oliver Humperdinck. Humperdinck. Which we know somebody who looks like Oliver Humperdinck. <laughs> <laughs> and it lasted 22 minutes. <laughs> we had our own Oliver Humperdinck. We yes. did. <laughs> but it was, I mean, they make it like you said. We could still do this today, folks. We could. It was it's just, I don't know crazy. why people don't, don't do it. I don't, know what, actually, I don't know what the mindset is. That was, all, that was the second shortest match. The opening match was longer than the finish. And then we had Survivor Series 1988. I was a month old. A month and two days. The tagline was, teams of five strive to survive. On November the 24th, 1988, with the attendance of 13,000. Way down from 21,000. And it was 13,500, and the venue again was the rich field. That's why they, maybe the way they booked the seats around. That is a big drop. That is a huge drop. And the opening drop, match, they only had four again. The opening match was the Ultimate Warrior, Brutus Beefcake, Sam Houston, the Blue Blazer, and oh, Jumping Jim Bronzel, defeating the Honky Talk Man, Ron Bass, Danny Davis, Greg Valentine, and Bad News Brown with Jimmy Hart in a 5-on-5 Survivor Series Elimination match in only 17 minutes and 50 seconds. And I would like to see if you scroll up. The first match had Honky Tonk Man in it. Honky Tonk Man, Ron Danny Bass, Davis, Ron Bass. Ron Bass, all three of them were in the same match together. And Brutus was too. Yes, but on the other side. Yes, but they were in the one. opening match last year. Weird. And they lost. And they lost. There you go. Next second up, match. we had the tag team match. 20 men in the tag team Survivor Series Elimination match, which was a very long time. Ooh. On one side, we had the Powers of Pain, the Warlord and the Barbarian, the Rockers, Shawn Michaels and Marty Jannetty, the British Bulldogs, Davy Boyd Smith and Dynamite Kid, the Hart Foundation, Bret Hart and Jim the Anvil Neidhart, and the Young Stallions of Jim Powers and Paul Roma, and they defeated Demolition Axe and Smash, the Brain Busters, Arn Anderson and Tully Blanchard. The Bolsheviks, Nikolai Volkov and Boris Zukov. The Fabulous Rougeos, Raymond and Jacques Rougeau. And the Conquistadors, Uno and Dos with Mr. Fuji. Bobby Heenan, Slick, Jimmy Hart. Four managers this four time. Managers. And the only one the Conquistadors might have a manager. Interesting. That's the only one. Uh, that was the longest match of the night before. Yes, 42 12. minutes and 12 freaking seconds. Yes. Um, the third match was Andre the Giant, Rick Rude, Dino Bravo, Mr. Perfect, and Harley Race, along with their managers of Bobby the Brain, and Frenchie Martin, 
We know Frenchy Martin was with Dean. Well, that, that, well, Bobby was with the rest of them. That's interesting. <laughs> How was the rest of the Heenan family? That's funny. And they defeated Jim Duggan, Jake the St. Roberts, Scott Casey, Kim Patera, and Tito Santana. The flying taco. In a final final elimination match in 30 minutes and 3 seconds. Where's the time of the main event? Oh. <laughs> that really was long. And in the long. main event, it was the Mega Powers, Hulk Hogan and Randy Savage <laughs> with Hercules, Coco Beware, and Hillbilly Jim with Miss Elizabeth <laughs> at ringside, defeating the team of Ted DiBiase, Haku. I almost found somebody. I got to get Hold on. Back it up. Okay. Start over. Defeat the team of the Twin Towers, Akeem and Big Boss Man, yes. with Ted DiBiase, Haku, and the Red Rooster, with Slick, Bobby Heenan, and Virgil at ringside in 29 minutes and 10 seconds. Good to get started here. Yes, very good. And next week we will have Survivor Series 1989, 1990, and 1991. 91, that's so we'll have three... Next week, ladies and gentlemen, as we time this out. And you will start seeing as they how they decline as they the decline. years. After a few years, they quit doing the five, and they go to four. And then some of them are three, which is too good. Yeah. And then they mix it up. Some are five and some are four. And then all of a sudden, they just quit altogether. And then how makes you one traditional survivor one series traditional. match. How about let's have the whole pay per traditional. Oh. Don't tell us how to be on one. Exactly. And it saves the champion from having to defend, so you... Have another pay per view where they and the, ta and the, and the champion is the leader of is the captain of a team. Thank you. And the person who's going against them is challenge. the captain of this. And you Thank pick a team, and uh, it works out. But next up in part three with the American Dream countdown, if you will, if you will, we will have four WWE stars who should go to NXT and four stars that need to replace them. Ten potential new feuds after Night of Champions 2015. Nine all-time legends who were never ranked number one in the PWI 500. And then eight WWE stars who should join Stardust Cosmic Wasteland Stable. And I will tell you that this countdown right here with Stardust Cosmic Wasteland Stable is comical, to it say is. the least. Yeah. But we decided to throw it in there and see uh, how you felt about that one because it's pretty stupid. So come on back to part three of Top Rover Hail on the YouTube. I'm Mike Hogan. I'm Justin Todd. We'll see each and every one of you in a few clicks.